Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, Understanding Safety in Ground Handling Operations on Aircraft Stands. In the last lecture, we studied some important safety aspects in aircraft marshalling. In this lecture, we are going to discuss ramp safety aspects of automated docking system. A visual docking guidance system is a piece of equipment that automates the work of a marshaller. It has a scanner unit that scans the geometry of the aircraft and a large display unit for displaying different instructions and visual cues to the pilot. The complete unit is installed on a pole located in line with the aircraft center line of aircraft stand in a clear line of sight of pilots sitting inside cockpit of the aircraft. A VDDS not only scans aircraft geometry but also the vicinity of the aircraft center line. Its scanner unit has the ability to sense foreign object debris FOD and a smallest of objects that can skip human eye and when it does it clearly displays it on the display unit. If it does sense any of these it displays a stop command to the pilot. Since it is an electronic piece of equipment it accurately measures the speed of the aircraft and display the instruction to slow down if the aircraft is approaching the ramp too fast. Therefore, chances of human error due to any shortcoming in judging the speed of the aircraft is removed. VDDS also has the ability to measure the smallest deviation of the aircraft from the aircraft center line and immediately guide the pilot accordingly before the deviation gets larger. Being electronically controlled, its response is much more accurate and faster than a human marshaller. VDDS also has the ability to communicate with other equipment installed on the ramp to ensure a greater degree of safety. It has electronic interlocks with pit systems so that if any pit is not properly closed, it displays message on the display unit that pit is open. Similarly, if the passenger boarding bridge is not in its home position, the VDDS safety interlock with the bridge will activate and display a message on the display unit to alert everyone that bridge is not in its home position. The emergency button on the VDDS control panel installed on ramp can be pressed by any staff on the ramp to immediately display a stop signal to the pilot, while in case of a marshaller, the same cannot be accomplished so quickly unless marshaller notices any abnormality himself. In case some other ramp person notices an abnormality that is not in the view of pilot and marshaller, he will find it difficult to inform the marshaller to exhibit emergency stop hand signals. In case of an emergency button, emergency stops can be achieved much more quickly. The display of the VDGS is very bright and well illuminated and is designed to remain highly visible even under low visibility conditions. This also improves ramp safety because in very foggy conditions or very rainy conditions, the pilots may not be able to clearly see the hand signals of marshaller. However, the VDDS display makes sure that pilots receive clear guidance during the docking maneuver. Ramp safety is significantly improved with the VDDS because its electronic sensing and control improves the accuracy and swiftness of both identifying if something is wrong as well as alerting the pilot and ramp staff about it through its large display unit. Let us discuss some important safety measures when using VDGS. 
First, it goes without saying that BDDS operators must receive proper training whose curriculum includes teaching full functionality of the equipment, how it is to be used, as well as what are the possible confusions that could arise in its use. Secondly, since it is an automated piece of equipment, operators and rampa staff can have a tendency to lose focus and leave the job at BDGS. This must not be done. At least one trained person on the ramp must set his focus on the automated docking in progress and intervene if he thinks something is going wrong. But what could go wrong? We'll study one incident in the next lecture.